So some people say that the way to prove Islam true is through the scientific miracles of the Quran. Today is the age of science and technology. So let us analyze today whether this glorious Quran is compatible or incompatible to modern science. Gave rise to galaxies, the stars, the planets, the sun, the moon and the earth on which we live. This they call as the Big Bang. The glorious Quran mentions this in a nutshell. 1400 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. And other people say that the way to prove Islam false is through the scientific errors in the Quran. The Quran repeatedly tells us in the clearest of terms that the earth was created first before the heavens. Quran verse 229 He it is who created for you all that is in the earth, then turned he to the heaven and fashioned it as seven heavens, and he is knower of all things. These are two approaches which depend upon certain presuppositions and assumptions about science and also a reading or a misreading of the tafsir. What are we going to be doing, Abu Sufi? We are sources? going to be taking these ayat, inshallah ta'ala, all of these verses and looking at them through a classical lens, how the scholars of Islam viewed it, how it was interpreted by the companions, by the best of the generations, and to see whether or not what principles we should be applying here in relation to the Quran and modern day scientific theory. So join me and Abu Safiya in our series reacting to Zakir Naik's Miracles of the Quran narrative.